Yo, what's up guys? Antoine Vinny here. Hope you are doing well. Today I've got another DIY special video for you. Today I'm going to show you how I made a red dot site out of simple materials. Um, super cost effective, durable as well to airsoft BBs um, and all DIY. I'm super stoked with how this turned out. I made this in about a week. Super simple parts. I'm going to throw up some pictures as I kind of explain it a little bit. So, I've been making red dot sites since I was 15 years old, uh, 16 years old, since 2011. I'll throw in some like videos of that right now. Some of my earliest prototypes were made out of cardboard uh, and wood as well. But I always knew that plexiglass and uh, polycarbonate were the best for the screen as they were pretty much resistant to airsoft BBs and high impact, stronger than glass, shatterproof. So, I haven't made one since then really, since that last version. Um, and. I figured I could use polymer clay, uh, super cheap as well. I got a big uh, 12 ounce like rectangle for, um, how much was it, $7 <laughs> on sale. I got the Kato polymer clay because I heard it dried the hardest and as you can hear, it's solid. The pieces are very sturdy and don't bend and what I did was started with making rectangular shapes that I ended up epoxying together and made a box shape. So then I started to put in the electronics, uh, got the battery. I even made a battery holder out of polymer clay as well. Taught myself how to solder, put it on and off switch, and wired to the LED, made a little container for the LED to sit in. I made my own screw threads, so if I need to change the battery, I just unscrew the screws and I can get into the internals, change the batteries easily, do any repair work I might need to do. Uh, I even made a Picatinny rail mount out of polymer clay as well, just to show you how strong epoxy and polymer clay are. Uh, I got the shape of the rail. I'll do some close-up macros of this just in case this angle isn't that good. Lighting's probably not that good either. Um, I put some screws in, hooks to my rail. It's a perfect top rail red dot. The only thing I'm struggling with is getting it to work well in daytime. Um, in day, that light is really dim. It's still visible, but when you're trying to do quick target acquisition, it's not ideal. I'm thinking I might do some research and maybe get a darker uh, piece of polycarbonate or something that reflects everything but the color LED I want to use. I think that'll keep all the daylight out of the, the uh, glass itself. So yeah, let's get some macro shots going and uh, show you what it looks like internally and maybe get some other shots of it on the gun as well. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I don't have any build footage of this just because it was like a prototype. Um, I will On the next ones I build, I will definitely film the building process because it is pretty cool and I enjoy doing this. I think the next one I'm gonna build is a EOTech replica holographic site. Uh, obviously it's gonna be reflex. I can't, I don't have the technology to do holographic, but it will still be able to project a reticle. And uh, I think I'm gonna do the circle with crosshairs and the dot in the middle and see how that works. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. I'll see you next time. Peace.